is time for me to set out decisively and with clarity the way forward. Doing nothing at this stage, in many ways the easiest thing for me to do, would mean letting Scotland drift through the next two years with our fingers crossed, simply hoping for the best. And of course, I do hope for the best. I want the UK to get a good deal from the EU negotiations. That is clearly in Scotland's interests as well as in the interests of our friends in other parts of the UK. But I am far from alone in fearing a bad deal or indeed no deal. Nor am I alone in fearing that even a so-called good deal will be significantly inferior to membership of the single market and that it will set Scotland on a course that will not only damage our economy but change the very nature of the society and country that we are. The problem with doing nothing now is that by the time these fears are realised, it will be too late for Scotland to choose a different path before the damage is done. That would not be right or fair. Whatever path we take, it should be one decided by us, not for us. So let me set out the plan I intend to pursue. First, I will continue to stand up for Scotland's interests during the process of Brexit negotiations. Second, I will now take the steps necessary to make sure that Scotland will have a choice at the end of this process. A choice of whether to follow the UK to a hard Brexit or to become an independent country, able to secure a real partnership of equals with the rest of the UK and our own relationship with Europe. The Scottish Government's mandate for offering this choice is beyond doubt. Last year, we were elected with the highest share of the constituency vote won by any party in the history of devolution on a manifesto that said this. The Scottish Parliament should have the right to hold another referendum if there is a significant and material change in the circumstances that prevailed in 2014, such as Scotland being taken out of the EU against our will. These conditions have, of course, now been met. So I can confirm today that next week I will seek the authority of the Scottish Parliament to agree with the UK Government the details of a Section 30 order the procedure that will enable the Scottish Parliament to legislate for an independence referendum.